Hi there, my YouTube friends. A educational video this morning to tell you how to tell the final drive ratio of your 125 transmission. I'm in the home stretch on assembling my 125 and I was thinking, here's something we can all learn from if you don't already know it. I racked my brain for a while to figure out how to tell the final drive ratio and talked to some friends and did a bunch of internet research and uh, I figured I'd depart that upon you so you don't have the same problem when it's your turn. When I built my transmission originally, I had the builder change it to a 342 final drive. And I know that entails changing the sprockets and changing final drive pinions and gizmos and stuff inside, but I wasn't quite sure what exactly you changed. So it's a couple of things. In the differential, you need to figure out what gear ratio you have. And that's a product of the teeth on your pinion and the teeth on your sun gear. Now mine has a 34 tooth sun gear and an 18 tooth pinion. If you count these, you'll see it's 18. If you go to this chart I found online, I don't know whose rebuild manual this is or if it's a parts manual or what it is, but if you look right here, it shows you the um, sun gear and the pinions and it tells you what they are so 34 and 18 is right there my finger in there it's a 306 ratio now the large and the small you see next to it i'm thinking that's the pinion shaft because i measured a bunch of stuff on my diff and uh i have a 705 pinion shaft so i'm guessing that's the pinion shaft to mention if you're curious so anyway so 34 and 18 gives you a 306 now you go to your transmission and the sprockets in the back you have the drive which goes in the torque converter and the driven which goes to the gear train mine is 37 and 33 if you divide 37 by 33 you get a 1.12 ratio if you multiply 1.12 times 306 and differential magically you get 3.42 so that is what was in this transmission when i took it apart I substituted my original open diff, as I said in an earlier video. And then that one, if you look at the chart, I don't know what pinion shaft I have. Let's assume it's a small one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, mine was a uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, 38 sun gear teeth, 16 pinion. That is a 284 ratio. So again, you would take your drive and driven sprocket you do the math, get 1.12, multiply that by 2.84, and you get 318 is your final drive. So it's a function of the chain sprockets and the differential sun gear and pinion. So that's a 306, mine is a 284. Put the two together, that becomes 342. The one in here becomes a 318. Uh, I do have another differential, it's a limited slip, and that one is also a 306. It's the 18 and uh, it's a 34. Yeah, 34 and 18. So that's how you tell. That's all there really is to it. Uh, it's super hard to figure out. The information online isn't really readily available. Uh, like I said, I have a friend who, he actually built that limited slip and the two different limited slips I have. He told me it's a function of the pinion and the sun gear and he's saying that, you know, you can't, you can't do the math to get the ratio. Yeah, because you have to do all this crap together. So that's how it works. You can change these sprockets. You can juggle your ratio. Some have 37 on the side, 33 on the side. Some have 35 and 35. Obviously, that's a one-to-one. -one. So if I had a 306 diff and a one-to-one -one sprocket ratio, I would have a 306 final drive. It's really as simple as that. It sounds really confusing until you finally know what you're looking for. And it's pretty simple. That's it. I hope somebody benefits from that. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the home stretch here. I got the chain drive on. I may change the chain because it tells you to go for... Uh, less than 15 sixteenths play. You're supposed to push it one way and mark it, push it the other way and mark it and measure the difference. And they tell you anything over 15 sixteenths is no good. Mine's around three quarters, seven eighths. I'm gonna call and see if I can get a chain for it. If I get one easily, I'll put chain in it while I'm here. If I can't get one, the hell with this one will be fine. It's within spec. I just figured, you know, if I'm here, just do it. So that's where I am as of today. I can still do the valve body and all that crap on the bench, but uh, we're getting there. It's coming together. Uh, then when this is done, I can pull the engine apart and start going through that. So I'm 
sure I'll dazzle you with videos of that soon. So I'm almost done and I uh, hope this video was educational for you. See you later.